So, uh, hi, welcome to my poster. I'm Wina Wang from Arizona State University. This is joint work with Dr. Ying and Dr. Zhang. Our work is inspired by the uh, recent market approaches for collecting private data. But instead of assuming the data collector is trustworthy, we consider an untrustworthy data collector and uh, we let individuals control their own privacy. Uh, so the data collector uh, wants to collect data from said some individuals, but the individuals have privacy concerns, so without the incentives, they won't review any information on their data. Uh, so we studied the approach that the data collector pays the individuals uh, to buy their private data, and we quantify the monetary value of privacy in the market. Mm. Uh, so how long has this to be? Two, three minutes. Yeah, whatever you need to do if you want to go a little more in depth. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here's our model. Everyone has a private bit which represents her knowledge about some underlying state. For example, the underlying state can be the real value of some technology, some product, uh, and these signals are their opinions. And uh, uh, to protect the privacy, each individual randomly perturbs her data and reports the perturbed version. And uh, the data collector uses a payment mechanism to pay the individuals, which is a function of the reported data. And the output is, uh, uh, are the amounts of payments to the individuals. And we take a game theoretical approach. Everyone can choose how to perturb the data. And everyone's utility is a payment, is a payment minus the cost incurred by the privacy loss during the data reporting. And the fundamental questions we seek to answer is what's the minimum payment to obtain certain amount of privacy from an individual. Uh, this quantifies the value of privacy. Uh, it gives the trade-off between privacy and cost and characterizes the balance point where the data collector and the individuals cut the deal. And the next question is how to achieve this minimum payment. So we need to find the optimal pay payment mechanism. And we, uh, we give asymptotically tight lower and upper bounds on the value of privacy. And the upper bound is given by an achievable mechanism we de designed. So it's a asymptotically optimal mechanism. So, yeah, that's, that's basically the main results. <laughs>